Janie Sarek here with offensive lineman Calvin Beecham, and this is Sideline Exchange. Calvin, in Sunday's win over the Cowboys, you moved from the right side over to the left, which is where you spent most of your career. However, this was the first time you played left tackle as a Cardinal, and you only allowed just one quarterback pressure. How were you able to have such a smooth transition over to the left side so quickly? I think you have to really give kudos to Coach Cliff, uh, Coach Kugler, um, K1. Uh, I mean, just doing everything that they could to, to make sure the offensive line was in a great position to be successful. Week 18 is actually the first time that all five starting offensive linemen left to right as Humphreys, Pugh, Hudson, Garcia, and you will start a game with Kyler Murray. Because the last time the five of you started a game was November 7th at San Francisco with backup quarterback Colt McCoy. You look a little surprised at that. You chuckled a little. <laughs> what surprises you most about hearing it's taken the yeah. entire season to get the six of you to start a game together? It's been, it's been interesting. I mean, it's just been it's just been one of those years, and sometimes you have those. But I think it's also uh, a huge kudos to our offensive line room that we found a way uh, to thrive and, and find ways to plug and match and, and, and find a way to get the job done, even in spite of. And we've had some some rough patches here in the year, um, but at the same time, I think that there's a lot to be proud of. And, now we have a shot to, to really be at our best going into the most pivotal point in the season. Absolutely, this offensive line has thrived. Throughout all that adversity, the Cardinals still boast a top 10 rushing and passing offense. The win over the Cowboys snapped a three-game losing skid. How important is that momentum as you finish out the regular season to start the playoffs? I think it's so important. When you go in and, and you play in December football, especially December football into you know, the new year and into the playoffs, you've got to have momentum. you got to have wins under your belt. Um, you got to be playing the best football that you can possibly play at the most important time in the season, which is playoff football. And this is where we're at. Even though this is the last game of the season, this is playoff football. We know there's going to be a playoff atmosphere, um, you know, at State Farm Stadium this coming up weekend. And we got to find a way to just continue to get better week in and week, uh, week out. And like Coach Kingsbury has been talking about, you know, we got to just do it right. If we do it right, uh, we know that we can beat anybody in the National Football League. As the last regular season game this Sunday against the Seahawks, how crucial is it to work out any of those wrinkles ahead of the playoffs? You know, I think it's, it's for us, it's just doing the right thing. You know, if we do the right thing, play in and play out, and we don't beat ourselves, we're going to be just fine as we get ready to head into the playoffs. At the end of the day, it's execution. They get paid, we get paid. You know, there are professionals over there on the opposite side of the ball, so we know that, you know, when it comes in to this part of the season, it's all about execution. And if we execute consistently, play in and play out, situational football, which is really going to be pivotal um, here in this time of year. We know that we'll be able to do the things that we need to do and we'll have the outcomes that we all desire to have here in the Red Sea. Calvin, you were nominated by your teammates as the Cardinals Walter Payton Man of the Year nominee. So congratulations on that. How special is that honor to be recognized by your teammates for your efforts in the community? You know, it's always huge to be uh, recognized by your peers. I um, mean, anytime you have teammates, guys in which you practice with, you grind with, you work out with, you bleed with, you fight with, uh, who end up, you know, uh, saying that you're the, the nominee for the team and then support you. Um, that's something that I'm, I'm so happy for, so proud of. I mean, it's so, it's so special uh, to be able to get the support from that locker room and the support from the organization is something that uh, I'll never forget. But I'm excited to continue serving, excited to continue volunteering and excited to continue being able to, to be a positive impact. Red Sea for a full interview with Calvin on his efforts in the community as the Cardinals Walter Payton Man of the Year. Head over to the Arizona Cardinals YouTube channel and you can help him win the NFL's Walter Payton Man of the Year in February at NFL Honors by going to Twitter and voting with the hashtag WPMOY challenge along with Calvin's name. Cardinals host the Seahawks Sunday 225 kickoff from State Farm Stadium. Reporting from Cardinals practice for Calvin Beecham, I'm Danny Sarak.